What's up, everyone? I hope you're having a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever you're doing. I hope you're doing it good. So Lil E put sent me their new A5 monitor to check out. It is a 5-inch display, uh, 1080p, and it's pretty tiny, and it only weighs 118 grams. Uh, it does run off of battery and 12 volts. So, and the cool thing is about this one is that you can use either Sony batteries or Canon batteries and switch between the both. You don't need to use a different adapter or anything because uh, on one side it's Sony and on the other side it's Canon. And you see there in the middle they have a little USB update so you can update this monitor too. Uh, you can see here 5 inch, 7 to 24 volts it will accept and power consumption is 9 watts. So on the side you have HDMI in and then you have HDMI out. Uh, you can do the loop through on this. Uh, you can also run it on uh, DC 12 volts. There is the power where you would plug that in there. And then we have a headphone jack. So in the box, you get the monitor, you get a Velcro sunshade, you get an Allen wrench with a double head quarter 20, a ball head mount, and a HDMI cable, and then a user guide. So on the top we have the power button, then we have the exit button, which also works as a shortcut button. Then we have the left and right buttons, so that allows you just to turn up and down things like brightness or volume or contrast or go through the menus. And next to those we have the menu button, and that just allows you to go through the menus. One, two, three, one, one. So overall, not a bad little monitor. When I say little monitor, it is a five inch monitor. So it is small, but it is also good for cameras where you can't necessarily put a screen in the place or position you need it to be. One thing that did kind of mess me up when I would go and I was trying to go back in the menus, I would hit the power button on accident and that would shut off the screen instantly. So to turn it on, you do a longer hold. To shut it off, you do a short press. So if maybe they could do an update where you could do a long press to shut it off and a short press to turn it on, that might work better. Uh, but besides that, I'll put a link in the description. And that's that. Thanks for watching.